my dearly cherished Christian brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all. May God be praised for his name. It is a joy to meet all of you with this auspicious message on this auspicious day, December 29th. God bless each and every one of you. Take Proverbs 22 6 with you, train up a child in the way he should go. And he won't leave it when he gets old. What does it mean to train up a child in the way he should go, my dear brothers and sisters? That implies you have to raise the child in the ways of the Lord when he is still a small child. You bear accountability. To have raised your offspring in a fear of God. Only then would he continue to follow it until old age. There is a proverb in our community that reads, Whatever does not break at five will not break at fifty. Your child's body won't give him the strength to bend until you start bending him when he is five years old and again when he is ten. Some people have trouble turning their necks or bending their backs, which occurs when you don't bend them correctly. For this reason, they become immobile. God states unequivocally, teach a child to the path he ought to take. And he won't leave it when he gets old. Teach the Lord's word to your children, even if they are young daughters or sons. Allow your life to serve as a living example for them. Even in the absence of instruction, your children will become better people after witnessing your example of a happy and healthy lifestyle. Don't ever stop conditioning your kids. Treat them with some degree of strictness. God's word states, a child who is spoiled by a parent who spares the rod. You have the authority to correct your kids. Even you can defeat them. There's nothing to be concerned about. If you believe that you cannot defeat them, you can still assist them by showing them love. To develop properly, then no issue, as long as you discipline your kids to fear God and to walk in the ways of the Lord. You ought to continue being a positive example for them. This is a crucial matter. If those kids were asked, they ought to be able to respond that, aside from God, our parents serve as our primary role models. Let parents follow God's will in their lives, and may their children do the same. God says, train up a child in the way he should go, in an attempt to communicate with you through me and he won't leave it when he gets old. Like a watchman, the head of the family has responsibilities to his wife and kids. Additionally keep an eye on his family's tower. He will undoubtedly do that. If the father has not done that by watching over your family's tower, then you ought to have prayed for your kids every day. According to the Bible, Job prayed for each of his children separately and made sacrifices on their behalf out of concern that they would have sinned against God. God anticipates you to be as responsible a parent as Job was. As we near the close of this year, dear children of God, your children ought to be children who will talk about you when they get older. It should be the young ones who will defend the honor of your household. You are accountable for it. The Lord says, As the year draws to a close, give yourself into the hands of the Lord. Dear Lord, we are indebted to you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray and bless every kid reading this message. The Lord instructs parents how to raise their offspring. Lord, please alter them so they can provide a strong testimony. From the Bible, the Lord tells parents what they can pass on to their offspring. In order for parents to instill fear of the Lord in their children, may they themselves be filled with fear of the Lord. Lord, I anoint the parents to raise their children responsibly. In the dread of the Lord, and they ought to have the same law. Make a brighter future for them. Lord, Help those parents who are crying because they are worried about their children's future. 
I hope and pray that they have a bright future. Let a brighter spiritual life also come into theirs. Allow them to shine in the material world as well. From the bottom of my heart, I bless them. Let the kids walk in a way that pleases God and cling to Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Indeed.